Welcome to the Folktale Project. This is Dan Scholes. This week we're in North America, and in North America that means Charles Skinner. Today's story is a story of apples, and it's an origin tale, and it's an interesting one at that. This is Micah Rude Apples. In western Florida, they will show roses to you that drop red dew like blood, and have been doing so these many years, for they sprang out of the graves of women and children who had been cruelly killed by Indians. But there is something queerer still about the Micah Rude, or Mike, apples of Franklin, Connecticut, which are sweet, red of skin, snowy of pulp, and have a red spot, like a blood drop near the core. Hence, they are sometimes known as bloody hearts. Micah Rood was a farmer in Franklin in 1693. Though avaricious, he was somewhat lazy, and was more prone to dream of wealth than to work for it. But people whispered that he did some hard and sharp work on the night after the peddler came to town, the slender man with a pack filled with jewelry and knick-knacks, because on the morning after that visit the peddler was found beneath an apple tree on Rude Farm with his pack rifled and his skull split open. Suspicion pointed at Rude, and while nothing was proved against him, he became gloomy, solitary, and morose keeping his own counsels more faithfully than ever, though he never was disposed to take counsel of other people. If he had expected to profit by the crime, he was obviously disappointed, for he became poorer than ever, and his farm yielded less and less. To be sure, he did little work on it. When the apples ripened on the tree that had spread its branches above the peddler's body, the neighbors wagged their heads and whispered the more, for in the center of each apple was a drop of the peddler's blood, a silent witness and judgment, they said, and the result of a curse that the dying man had invoked against his murderer. Micah Rood died soon after, without saying anything that his fellow villagers might be waiting to hear, but his tree is still alive, and its strange fruit has been grafted on hundreds of orchards. And that is the American or Connecticut folktale of Micah Rude Apples, a bizarre strain of apple found in the Northeast, complete with murder, mischief, and intrigue. This is Dan Schultz for the Folktale Project. Don't forget that you can subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, Overcast, anywhere you'd like to get your podcasts. You can also follow us on Twitter at Folktale Project. You can find us on Auto Radio, TuneIn Radio, iHeartRadio, Spotify, anywhere that you'd like to listen. And you can always head over to folktaleproject.com where you'll find a new story waiting for you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thank you so much for listening.